In this video, we're going to write total and net ionic equation at an easy level. By easy, I meant the products of the reactions are provided and also the physical states for every compound. Let's get started. The first step that we have to do is balance the equation. So looking at our given equation, it looks like it's already balanced. So we're going to move on to the second step. We need to ionize the aqueous terms. That means we need to break the terms that has aqueous states, aq states, into ions. Now, it's very important to note that we only do that for aq terms. We don't do that for solid, liquid, or gas terms. If you need a refresher on how to split ionic terms into ions, I'll link a video here. Let's start with the first term, Na2CO3. That's made up of Na+, and CO3 2 minus. Before we move on to the second term, let's not forget that 2 for Na plus. We need to write that in front of Na plus. It just means that we have two Na plus ions. A lot of times, mistake is made when people write it as Na2 positive. That's not right because that actually doesn't exist. So make sure to write that 2 in front of Na plus. Moving on to the next term, BaCl2. It's made up of Ba2 plus and Cl minus ions. And again, don't forget that 2 in front for Cl. Continuing on with the product, BaCO3. Now, since that's a solid, we leave it be. And what we're going to do is just copy it down and write BaCO3. And then we move on to the final one, which is 2 NaCl, right? So NaCl is going to split to give us Na plus and Cl minus. And because we have that 2 in front of NaCl, we need to place 2 in front of Na plus and Cl minus as well. At this point, we have written the total ionic equation. Now that we're done with step 2, moving on to step 3, we need to cancel spectator ions. And what are spectator ions? Well, it's actually an ion that exists on both sides of the equation. So in this case, we have two Na plus on both sides of the equation. So we're going to cancel them out. We also have two Cl minus on both sides of the equation. So we're going to cancel them out as well. And now we rewrite the equation and we get CO3 2 minus equals plus Ba2 plus equals gives us BaCO3 solid. That's the net ionic equation. To make sure we didn't make any mistake, let's just double check our work. So we need to make sure that the number of atoms and charges must be the same on both sides. So let's check real quick. We have one carbon on both sides, three oxygen, and one barium. So that's good. As for the charges, we have a total of negative two plus two. So that equals to zero charge on the left hand side. And on the right hand side is BaCO3. It's a neutral compound. So that means it has no charge, zero charge. Charge-wise, it's also the same on both sides. So there we have it. We managed to write the total and net ionic equation in three steps. When everything is given in the equation, we need to make sure that it's first balanced, and then we split only the aqueous term. We leave the solid, liquid, and gas terms alone. That will give us the total ionic equation. Then to get the net ionic equation, what we have to do is cancel out the spectator ions, and then we rewrite the equation. If you are looking for a more challenging problem on writing net ionic equation, do keep an eye out for the other four videos in this series. I hope the video was helpful. Do subscribe and thanks for watching.